is Strip Texas Robotics, and today we're going to show you how to reuse the brand new Vex IQ pneumatics. So before we start building anything, we should explain what all the pieces do. So the first thing right here, this is the solenoid control. This basically lets the air come through and controls how the air moves. And the next thing here, this is the air tank. Basically what this does is it holds a lot of air in it so that you won't lose uh, air during the match. This right here is the pump. It basically gives air into the cylinder, into the into the air tank, and they work together to uh, supply the entire system with the air. So these right here are the cylinders, and they expand out like this. And there's also smaller versions of the cylinders. So here are the smaller versions of the cylinders, so you can see the size difference between them. Basically what they do is once they get air into these, then they'll expand out or they'll track back. And so right here is the tubing, and this basically just connects, helps connect everything together and make sure the air can flow throughout the system. So these right here are little tubing connector pieces. They allow you to stick um, a bunch of cubic tubing together so that you can uh, hook it all up. As you can see, they have this little pin right here, so you can actually stick it down onto your builds so that they that way they're secured. There's also another type of tubing connector pieces and it's this one. Uh, it just allows you to do different types of connections that you couldn't do with this one. And we found that this one isn't as uh, useful as the other one, but you could probably still find a use for it. So now we're gonna show you how to actually build these together and um, be able to create your first pneumatics line. So the first thing you're gonna do is hook these two together. Now we just like to have these both together since they kind of need to be lined into one another for uh, the pneumatics to work properly. So we just put them together and then we place them where we want on our bot. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook these two up to this solenoid here. So we're gonna have a sped forward version of what we're doing and then we'll explain how we did that. So one thing that's kind of annoying about these pneumatics is this part here is flexible for the pump, so it's kind of hard to stick the piping onto it. Another thing with the pneumatics is, these really don't like to stay on there that good, so make sure you're trying to push these in as far as you can. It'll just save you a lot of time and um, free you from some pain down the road. Alright, so we hooked these two up now. So basically what we did first was we put these lines coming out and we connected them with a T-piece. That way these two lines would go together and yeah. So then we hooked this one out here and put a line out here and then put a T-piece in there. And then we hooked up two lines. So there are little um, letters on the side here. So it says P and there's another P on the other side. So we put the two lines coming out for the pump. And then we hook those two lines up to that T-piece and it was all connected up. So now we're gonna hook up the cylinders to the rest of the system. And like what we did last time, we're gonna have a sped forward version and then we're gonna explain it. Alright, so we got our first cylinder attached, and basically what we did was we put these two lines coming out of the pump, and this is a pretty important part. So on the pump, like there was a P, there's a B on this side, and there's an A on this side, and then on the cylinder, there's an A on this side and a B on this side. So you gotta make sure the lines go to the right spot, so the B side will go with the B side, the A side will go with the A side. So you can't really just have one uh, cylinder with the pneumatics. 
uh, unless you want to hook up a line here and then attach it directly onto there it would just be more work because what would happen is uh, air would flow out of here and this cylinder wouldn't have enough power to actually push out so we're going to attach another cylinder and we're just going to do the same thing we did before Alright, so we got this second one attached now. We just did the same thing as the first one. And one thing we forgot to do was there's this little cable that comes out of the pump. And we needed to uh, plug that in to the solenoid. Alright, now we have our line set up. So now we need to code it on the brain. So let's go do that. Alright, so right now our pneumatics won't do anything. And we actually have to go into the code and... Um, make them actually extend and stuff. So, so add a device, pneumatic, and then you select your port, done. And once you get one there, um, you probably won't have to change any settings because the way we set it up, A and B aren't going to be flipped. So you click done. Maybe if you want to change the name, then done. So, the first thing you do is drag out a when started block, and then Whenever you do that, drag out set pneumatic 5 pump to on. That'll allow the pump to start bringing in air. Um, that way, the system will have air. So, then what we did was we bought out the block. Uh, when controller button R up pressed, then the cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 would extend. And then when R down is pressed on the controller, cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 would retract. So it's pretty simple um, as far as coding them. All right, now that we've got that coded, we can go into our program and test out our pneumatics. So you can hear the pump running now. And once we press R up, they both extend. And then R down, they retract. So there you have it, your first pneumatics. So now that we have this, we still need to actually attach these to something that we want to do. So these pneumatic cylinders have a little, uh, hole here so you can actually attach it to stuff but the only problem is it's going to swivel around if you try to place it on something because it only has one point of connection so what you can do is place it on to something like this and that'll kind of lock it in place but the only problem is it kind of still goes up and down a little bit what you can do is put rubber bands around this like that that way it'll kind of lock it in place and it can't move up as much so that's basically all we have for our quick little pneumatic tutorial uh, hopefully this helped you guys, and I'd love to see what you all make with pneumatics, and yeah.